I don't know, that just fucking triggered me and I just walked up and was like, BAT! <laughs> And I am back with another video. And this video is a story time. And it's a story time about the time that I fought my best friend. Or well, my ex-best friend now. But I fought my best friend. Alright. Bump this intro. Let's get into the video. Okay. So my friend, we're going to call her CL. Because she was on a cuss. She was a cancer leo. So we're going to call her CL. And to give you a little backstory on CL, I met CL when I was in 10th grade, which is 2013 to 2014. She was always closest to, matter of fact, she's the only Pisces, so I'm going to call her Pisces. She was closer to Pisces when I met her. And um, Pisces liked to pick on her. Um... She would always find little ways to like bring her down and like say things about her to make her feel low about herself. And CL would never say anything. So it was, she's that kind of person. She would just run back to us or like do the pouty. You know how cancers do that shit when they, 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 they're uncomfortable and they're unhappy, they pout. Like she would do that kind of stuff too. Me and CL didn't really get close until after high school. Um, I just couldn't get with like the weak bitch shit. <laughs> Y'all, this is like my third time trying to film this story. I keep getting sidetracked because there's so much drama <laughs> in these fucking stories. Okay, so basically, like I said, me and CL got close after high school. Okay, she was like, it was at the point where like, she liked to cheat on her boyfriend to each his own. Not my problem. Um, and she, her boyfriend used to like, she used to take the bus and her boyfriend like, the bus she would take from her house to get to his house she had to take two buses but like what the bus that she would take would pass my street like because i have a bus stop at the top of my street so like she would go to his house and like on the way back she would like get off at my stop and come hang out with me like or take the bus back or with my mom get off work and my mom take her home so we were we had got really close and i had to do a little party in may of 2016 may 2016 okay so, and I got really, really drunk. And at this time, I have a new boyfriend. We have been dating for some time now. The boy I'm dealing with now. That's the one I'm talking about. So, and we had, it was like, uh, it was maybe like two, three months into our relationship. And I had got really drunk. And um, I was in the bathroom crying. Mind you, he was upstairs, nigga. He had no idea. And he still has no idea. And you guys better not tell him. So, I'm in the bathroom and I'm crying. And I'm like, yo, my ex, Scorpio. I'm going to go, I'm Scorpio. I'm like, oh, if Scorpio, like if Scorpio came up to me right now and was like, he wanted to get back with me, I don't know if I would stay with Taurus or if I would, because my new boyfriend is a Taurus. So I'm like, I don't know if I would stay with Taurus or if I'd go with Scorpio. Like, I don't know. It was cool. It was a cool night. The rest of the night, I got myself together. I went upstairs and we was chilling. Like, I was still belligerently drunk and everything, but that's another story. I tried to fight. I was trying to fight that night too. That's another fucking story. So months and months, 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 months go by. Fast forward to December, okay? December. December. So I'm at Aries' house, and Aries like, oh, snap. I completely forgot to tell you. And I'm like, what? Tell me what? She's like, I ran into Scorpio a few weeks ago. And I'm like, my, like I said, this happened in May. Mind you, Aries was not there when she was at the party she was upstairs she was not there i'm telling you aries i mean naries and cl were there that's it so there was only two sources that could have came from so um she's like oh i ran into scorpio and he was asking about you saying like he had heard some things so as soon as they heard some things my ear was like heard what <laughs> like nobody's talking or worried about him like this completely slept my mind like this was months ago and she's like oh no he heard that you had a party and you were crying about him saying that you still loved him and blah 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 and he was just checking in mind you scorpio has a whole new girlfriend whole new girlfriend matter of fact pause rewind let's take it back to august in august i get a dm from my ex scorpio and he's like, how you doing? How you been? Like, what's up? What's new? And, you know, we just chit-chatting chit -chatting back and forth. For, like, it was for, like, two days. But we were, like, it wasn't, like, consistently. Like, we were talking, like, 
it would be like he would reply i would reply like every four or six hours like it wasn't like anything like consistently and my and taurus knew about it i told him like i'm talking to him like it's nothing like that like he's just asking how i'm doing like you can read the messages it's not that deep which he was cool with it um and um his girlfriend messaged me he's like are you and scorpio talking and i'm like what do you mean talking like having conversation yeah and he's she's like oh well i'm his girlfriend and blah 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 mind you i had asked him if he was seeing somebody he said no so at this point she's like getting kind of sassy because i'm like well he just hit me up like i'm just responding it's innocent ass conversation like the fact that you know me and him are talking which means you saw the fucking messages so the messages are innocent like why are you even messaging me hit, hit your man up like he's the one who messaged me hit your man up so um She's, I forget what she was saying. I don't have the DMs anymore because I blocked both of them. I don't got fucking time for that shit. Basically, I shut her ass the fuck down. I'm like, I don't know why you're fucking messaging me because your man's not claiming you. You look stupid. I just literally asked him, would you like a screenshot, bitch? I'm not fucking claiming you. And the funny thing is, he never, ever, ever claimed her. Once again, if you watch my Zodiac sign story, this is the Libra and the Scorpio. <laughs> this is them. <laughs> Fast forward back to December 2016. She's like, yeah. He's saying, like, he heard you was talking about him and he, you know, worried about you and, like, hoping that you weren't still hung off on him. And I'm like, where did he get this information from? And she's like, he said he heard about it in August. My tin hat starts tingling. That's when this bitch hit me up. That's when he hit me up, asked me how I was doing. I'm like, because he, that's when he found out. I was like, that's when they found out. I asked him, I'm like, oh, I asked her. I'm like, how did he find out? Did you ask him? And he, she was like, um, Aries is like, yeah. She, he heard it from Pisces boy though. It's not the same Pisces from earlier, it's a boy. It's, it's one of um, Scorpio's friends. And I'm like, cause CL was cheating on her boyfriend with Pisces. So that's how it was easy to make the connection because that's the boy she was coming to my house to, after she would go fuck him, like she was coming to my house. So it was kind of easy once she said that. So now at this point, my blood is boiling. Cause what I was kind of thinking was happen happening was maybe somebody heard us and they just went back and told him because everybody who was there minus my, my boyfriend Taurus knew him. Like we all went to school together. They all knew him and they all had him on social media. It would have been so easy to go and tell him. So. I my last thing I didn't want to think her but once that name Pisces name came out I was like it was her so I FaceTime her like mind you Aries is trying to like calm me down because I'm calm but like she can see it in my face that I'm pissed so I FaceTime her and she's like yo what's good bitch and I'm like CL did you tell Scorpio what I said that night and she's like what and I was like did you tell Scorpio what I said that night back in May at my party and she's like, no. And I was like, are you sure? And she's like, no, I didn't tell him. I'm like, you're a fucking liar. Da -da -da. Like, I started going the fuck in. How the fuck does he know? Why the fuck did he just hit me up telling me that he knows? And da 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 da. Lying, because I wasn't about to throw Aries under the bus. Even though Aries was like, I don't care, you could throw my name in it. Because like I said earlier, Aries was never really a part of the friend group. She was my friend. So she's like, I don't give a fuck. You can tell her I said it. Like, what the fuck she gonna do? Like, same thing, like me. Like, what the fuck she gonna do? So, um, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you're a fucking liar. How the fuck do? I, how the fuck does he know? Why the fuck is he messaging me about it? Why the fuck is he telling other people about it? Because you fucking told him. And she's like, she's like, no, 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 no. I didn't tell him that. And I'm like, yeah, because you fucking told Pisces, and Pisces told him. And he's like, she's like, well, well, I was comfort confiding in him. And I'm like, how the fuck are you confiding in him about a night that was about, well, I mean, that was an incident about, that was about me. That night, she was fucking bugging out, kissing people, kissing girls, trying to touch all over people. She was trying to get, mind you, Pisces to come to my party, but I don't fucking like him. So he was not coming to my house. Like, she was doing mad extra shit that night. I'm like, why don't you tell him all that? Why didn't you tell him what the fuck you were doing? Why the fuck did my name and my situation come out knowing that Pisces and Scorpios are, are best friends? Like, did you not think he was gonna go back and tell? And I was like, when you see me, it's on sight. Like, when you see me, it's on sight. This dumb bitch, mind you, mind you, I said earlier, she's not a fighter. Like, she was not a fucking fighter. Like, she used to let people, like, 
like she used to let the other Pisces girl pick on her. Like she used to just down her and call her type of hoes and shit, and she would just eat that shit. Great that she was a hoe. Like she was a hoe. She was one of those bitches that would suck dick on the back of the bus. Like she was one of those girls. So she was a hoe. But um, I don't give a fuck. So she's like, oh, I'm about to pull up to your house. This bitch said, pull up. I fucking, I'm like, yo, I'm like, Aries, you coming? <laughs> Cause I'm fucking going home. So Aries is like, yeah, just in case you had to pull some funny shit, I'm coming. We pull up. By the time we get there, she's already at, at my house. And I hop out. Mind you, this was in the middle of December. Snow on the ground. It's cold as fuck. Like, this is the middle of winter. So she hops out the car and I'm sitting there. And she said, let me explain. Let me explain, Chantel. Let me explain. And at this point, I'm like, girl, I don't want to hear none of that. You just came to my house after I told you it was on site. We're fighting. I let her cop her little plea or whatever, and she's like, I'm sorry, was it, I didn't mean for it to get like this. Um, my whole thing was, I was so mad because I'm like, bitch, you left me looking dumb. Like, you real life left me looking dumb. Um, because he found out in August, and I used to see this nigga at school, like, and, like, it was just like, you left me looking dumb. Like, I used to see her on the bus all the time, left me looking dumb, like... And then you didn't tell me. I'm like, it's one thing. You keep saying that you let it slip and it was an accident and you didn't mean to tell him. But you didn't tell me you told him. I was like, if you were a real bitch when you told him by accident, you would have came and told me. Like, oh, heads up. I accidentally let it slip. But my thing, I'm like, that happened so long ago. Why the fuck are you still bringing it up in August? Like, that's I was so confused. She yelled. I forget. We were just going back and forth. When I wasn't even going back and forth, I was standing there silent because I was ready to fight. Like, it wasn't even like, I don't want to talk to you no more. I want to fight. So, um... She's going back and forth and she yelled, I'm sorry. And I don't know, that just fucking triggered me. And I just walked up and was like, bat. So she swings back and then I swing again. And I'm just like, boop. Ooh, ooh. I just fucking broke my new bond, guys. Isn't that some shit? I'm like so fucking annoyed right now because that just happened. Yeah. She says, I'm sorry. I swing on her. She swings back. And then, I don't know. She got tired because CL was a bigger girl. So I don't know if she got tired or what but she just like kind of stopped fighting me back like so i got her by her hair i'm just like boop 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 like straight to her face like i'm like bitch like you're gonna catch this fucking face she like i said she knew she deserved that ass whooping or what like because at first she was swinging me she was swinging on me back like she was and then like i got a hold of that hair and it was a wrap like and i'm like get on the ground and what does this bitch do get on the fucking ground <laughs> like bitch like what the fuck like what the fuck because i got her by her hair and i was kind of like swinging her but i'm like swinging her and i'm like this like get on the ground <laughs> bitch drops and then at this point i'm like she's i'm not even like fighting her like i was i'm just like bitch you're a pussy like you're not even trying to fight me back like you're a pussy like look how small i am compared to you like you could probably fuck my shit up like well obviously not because i fucked your shit up so Aries pulls me off. This is so funny too because my mom came running outside. My uncle and his girlfriend came running outside. They are watching me fight. My neighbor is like, it was so funny. But like, as Aries trying to pull me off, I wasn't even like giving her arms. And I punched her in the face one more time and I kicked her. And I was like, now bitch, get from in front of my house. And she got up and got in the car and left. <laughs> and then I remember like, I sent her this long ass paragraph afterwards. Like, well, I told her, I basically was like, I can't believe you did this shit to me. Like, I can't believe it. Like, me and you had grown so close. Like, I never thought you would do some shit like this to me. Like, there's no explanation. There's nothing you could say. Like, there's there's nothing. Like, any of your secrets that you've told me, they've never left my mouth. Like, that's why I'm just like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, it was a whole bunch of, I don't understand why you would do that to me. Like, and I told her, I was like, FYI, I'm telling your boyfriend that you've been fucking Pisces for months. And she opened my message, she read it, and she never responded. And that was the last time I spoke to her. The last time I seen her, I deleted her off everything. So yeah, me and CL don't speak or nothing anymore. She lives on like the opposite side of, of the world from me. Well, in my town, obviously. So I never run into her. So that concludes this story time of how I had to beat the fuck out of my best friend <laughs> for trying to be slick. Like, bitch, no. The so RIP to my nigga Wally. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share for more videos like this. And also, it makes me super duper happy. And I'll see you guys in my next video.